And now, Living Well with LDS Hospital. I am here with Lupe Cruz, who is a certified nurse midwife at LDS Hospital. We are talking about an important topic for anyone out there who's had a baby and can relate to this or is maybe pregnant right now. Intimacy during and after pregnancy. Let's talk about that. Okay, well, that, that seems to be a really key issue with anyone who's been pregnant or who's currently pregnant. Um, just getting that communication, getting their needs met and feeling normal. So let's talk. You say communication is key. Why is that? Well, you know, men and women respond differently to, this, to different stimuli. So women um, have to feel close in order to be able to have sex, and men have to have sex in order to be able to feel close. So it's, it's really the opposite. It's like the chicken and the egg. Seriously, right. I heard this weekend, I heard um, a discussion talking about foreplay, talking about how some people think it starts the minute you shut the bedroom door, but really it needs to start the moment you wake up in the morning with how you're treating your partner, how nice you're being to them. If you need to be kind all the time to feel that closeness and to be right. intimate. And intimacy right. isn't just a sexual intimacy. There's different core values of intimacy that you need in your life, the emotional intimacy, the physical, obviously, but how important all of that is. So let's talk about how intimacy kind of changes when you are pregnant. So when you think about when you're pregnant, you start to grow. You gain weight. At first, even before you start to grow, your breasts start to get sore. Um, maybe you're nauseous. That's the first trimester. Um, and people don't think about intimacy during that time and whereas the man may be thinking this is a good time because she's not growing yet mm -hmm. the female's like no this is not a good time I don't feel good um, as you get bigger as you go further along in your pregnancy and then your body starts to change your ankles may swell you start getting a little bit heavier you're gaining weight maybe even in your face you just don't feel as pretty as you used to and that's something that a man can do to remind their their partner, remind the woman that they're beautiful no matter what. Uh -huh. And that is so important because so much of it is mental, that closeness that right. you say, especially for the woman. So that's, lots of people are actually concerned about safety of intimacy during pregnancy. What would you say to someone who had a concern with that? Well, you find that a lot with the men. They're worried that they're going to hurt the baby or that they're going to hurt their partner. And sometimes there can be some spotting with intercourse. Um, which is not necessarily dangerous. What you need to remember is that sexual intercourse is safe throughout pregnancy, any time throughout pregnancy, unless otherwise stated by your provider. So if we tell you that something is going on and you need to be careful or not have intercourse or be on bed rest or something like that, that's the only time that you would want to not have intercourse. Well, also, let's talk about when they directly tell you not to, which is that early postpartum period. Right. Why is that? Right. So during that postpartum period, everything's healing. So the uterus is still um, is still going back down to normal size. There's still bleeding involved, um, and it's more of an open area where there's more risk of infection. So we want to be careful during that time. But there are other things that you can do during that six-week period. It's about four to six weeks that we tell you not to have intercourse, and then um, also you can get pregnant during that time. Oh, that's maybe not <laughs> an ideal. Time you're pregnant right. when you have a baby that's less than a month right, old. Right. Let's talk about um, really quickly. So men in that maybe are going through concerns like they want to be intimate and they don't know how to address it with their partner. And also women are feeling left out. I don't know. They're feeling I don't know. So they feel um, they feel tired. Mm -hmm. You've had a baby. You know I've what had it's lots like. Of those yeah, babies. right. Mm -hmm. So you feel tired. You're breasts are bigger, swollen, they are now used for the baby, mm -hmm. um, your body's not the same. I know, I always say different. those now belong to the baby for the next year, Sorry. Right, right. H hands off. But I mean, it's such an important topic and I love that you have even more details of what people can do to still have intimacy in their relationship during pregnancy and after. So for more information, visit ldshospital.org. We'll link them from our website. Lupe, thanks for coming in and talking about such an important topic. Brian, You're welcome. what's coming up next?